Hey everyone, welcome back to another video here on the second channel. I'm going to do an Atelier Ryza 2 review. Um, I have the Switch version, PS4 and PS5, so PS4 and 5 were uh, sent to me there. As you may know with that one update video I did a little while back. Because I'm still working on the review, technically I barely started, but anyways, the point is it's... Uh, I'm taking my time with the review, so it's not going to be out right now. Um, so I figured, hey, I'll just show you the limited edition here on the second channel. You'll probably hear like clicking and stuff because I'm like going through uh, the footage and scrubbing through. So the limited edition was available on the NIS store. So Nisa, yeah, so that's the thing. Even though this is a, uh, you know, not it's not released by them. They handle the limited editions for some reason when it comes to the Atelier series. This limited edition comes with a couple of things. So there's a premium box. Uh, mine's the Switch version here. Uh, there is a Japanese import poster, Japanese import art book. Um, let's see here, a clear file. Uh, there's actually two clear files in there, also Japanese import, and uh, again, a Japanese import. And it's like a mini acrylic character charm is what it says here. And then there's also an early access serial code for uh, a costume there for Ryza. So it's quite different compared to the first limited edition. Once again, the Switch version says for hybrid device on a, you know, as a, on a sticker there over the shrimp rack, uh, shrink wrapping. So that's interesting. There's Ryza posing with her <laughs> lamp pole, uh, like lamp pole here. <laughs> I think that's funny that it looks like that. There's Ryza tying her shoe, it looks like. I find it interesting how, you know, the artist is like, hey, let's remove her thigh high from the other side, but just add a belt so we get the thick thigh squeeze thing happening. <laughs> so compared to the first uh, limited edition, it's big and wide and not that thick. The other one was more like uh, blocky, like almost like it's about half as tall only. So quite a different form factor, though a lot of the colors are the same, which I like. Um, let's have a look here. I really like the artist, like, the backgrounds are nice as well, you know, it's not just one thing that this person's good at. Like, the, you know, you have the full effect there. But then again, when it comes to Atelier games, usually the artists are really good with that fairy tale looking sort of vibe, right? So when you open it up, it's, um, yeah, it's like you have to do it sideways, and then there's the game, as well as the little charm. There's a code underneath the game, so I'm not going to show that. I'm pretty sure I have that. Well, I must have, yeah. Underneath that is the art book. Um, oh, no, that's not the art book. That's uh, one of the clear files there. I think there's two in there, apparently. It's been a while since I unboxed this. There's the poster of a very smiley uh, Ryza there. And, uh, yes, it's funny how they managed to get the faces on both sides. And there's the art book. Okay, so here's the game. I really like the art here. I think it's like, you know, they're obviously looking at something, you know, something grand. So it makes you think, ooh, what could, you know, what could that be? A thing that uh, works very well when it comes to the vibe of the game. Uh, let's have a look here at the back. The back's like nice and airy. Normally, you know how it can be cluttered and filled with a whole bunch of crap. It doesn't look like that's, that's the case here. So I really like the back design. The inside's really cool too. I like that there's art there. You know, there's uh, Ryza in her um, atelier there. Or I guess not, because she's like, you know, she's, uh, anyways. Where she does her alchemy is the point in this game. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, there's no manual, so there's you get a little piece of paper with a QR code and an address, and I was like, oh, okay, well, all right. Anyways, underneath uh, we have Another cool bit of art there. Different outfit, which is cool. I didn't know they had the plastic, um, you know, cups like that back then, but everything's possible with alchemy. <laughs> Wait, what's that going on with her? Like, I'm trying to understand her costume. Like, what is, what is that specifically here? Anyways. Here's the acrylic charm thing. That's pretty cool. I don't mind that. Um, I guess there's not really much to say about that. Next up is the... Yeah, it's, it's, oh yeah, it's a cloth poster, that's right. 
I didn't want to undo it, so I'm just going to show you a picture. It just shows, uh, you know, the gang there. Very cheerful image. Um, next up are the clear files. There we go, that's the cover art, just bigger and more clear filey. Um, so many people are annoyed with clear files because they're like, I don't know, I guess people don't see the point of them and then you end up with a lot of them. Because sometimes they're like included as a free gift, you know, from some places when you order from Japanese sites. And now comes the art book. And here's a th some now something I'm going to complain a little bit about. So, all the other items are Japanese, right? Which is like, okay, they're illustrations and stuff. They're illustration based, so it doesn't really matter. But this is an art book. Okay, yes, it's art. So, no words, right? But, you know, there are words here after all. Um, and, uh... These little notes, right? I would have loved to be able to read them. So, so it's a bit unfortunate that they said, hey, we're going to include all the Japanese market stuff, making it sound like it's a good thing, right? And then it's like, oh, you know, it's not translated. And I think that's just a bit frustrating. Perhaps even a bit lazy, because it's like, hey, let's just not design anything and throw it all together into a box, you know? Basically, the only thing they designed in the you know western end of things is the box and the packaging that holds it all together you know and then the case and all that and everything else is just uh you know japanese market stuff put together so it's a bit unfortunate i would have liked to know if known you know what some of this stuff says it is good quality though and i do like the old school sort of look it has. By the way, if you're wondering that black binding there, that's just printed on. It's not real, so that's a bit unfortunate. <laughs> but yeah, that's the limited edition of Atelier Ryza 2. Um, the PS4 version is the same, except it's a PS4 game, right? And of course, when you put it in the PS5, you get to download the PS5 version. Yeah, I really like the art. I think in terms of, as you know, like a package, it's really nice. You know, front and back both have cool illustrations. I'm just not a big fan of the included items. Like, I think they could have put a little bit more effort into it, you know, soundtrack, you know, translate the art book, please. You know, that's my opinion on the matter. Oh yeah, I was gonna mention one thing as well. You know what this looks like, right? So basically, if you remember how things used to be with uh, Nisa, let's say like about 10-ish years ago, approximately, like the first Neptunia when it was out on the PS3, you know, that was Idea Factory didn't publish that. It was uh, Nisa did that here. And, you know, some other ones too, like, uh, um, I've got a, what is it? Oh yeah, Atelier Verona and stuff. They came, like all of those um, Nisa releases had a very specific type of box, which I'm going to show you here. And look at that. It's like the same thing with Atelier Riser 2. And, but it doesn't, you know... But because they didn't use the PS3 branding, it just, uh, I didn't notice it at first. But then it's like when I opened it, I was like, wait a second. The way, you know, this certain, this thing folds onto each, you know, these two things interlock. Feels very familiar. And then also if you turn it around, you can see those, uh, those weird tab bits on the side. So basically they just took that old... Nisa limited edition design and uh, well they made it better because uh, this time it doesn't have a finicky little flap that you can you know kind of mess up it's not like it's you know some people like rip them off which I thought it was a bit like you know woo you know calm down there but uh, um, what happens even if you're careful is that it because it was black it would wear out and then you would see the paper and then it just doesn't look that great when you open and close it all the time so anyways, I thought that was interesting that they revived this sort of thing. Uh, maybe they've been doing this with other games and I just didn't know, but, you know, I thought it was a thing of note. But there you go, that's the limited edition of Atelier Reza 2. I hope you thought that was interesting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.